can you tell me the difference between a birder and a twitcher? Because I'm told that they're different species. Yeah, it is. It is a it is a weird community because, um, well, like you say, you do sort of get two different species among one species, if you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, so twitchers, they're kind of like birders who will, um, and it is often old white men, which is, well, that's how it is, isn't it? Um, but they will often, right, basically anyone who sort of goes out maybe across the UK or anywhere to just see a rare bird, like, um, I mean, I, I don't really count myself among them. I'm not that, in, you know, intent on following lots of different birds across the UK, but there was a uh, just a couple of birds turned up on Shetland and then bird on the west coast of Scotland. And it's basically people who just go to mega lengths to go and see rare birds across the UK. And then bird watchers um, are just people who are interested in birds and sort of bird on their local patch and see what they can find. Um, and they sort of photograph them at the same time sometimes. Um, but basically there's twitchers who are just go just try and see everything and get a huge list for the year and try and race against each other. And then there's bird watchers who are a bit more calm and relaxed and just bird on the local patch, really. <laughs> so are all twitchers birders, but not all birders twitchers? Or is it more complicated than that? Are all twitchers birders, are all birders twitchers? I feel like... <laughs> I've, I've I feel confused like, you I, now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a quite a tongue twister. I feel, like, I feel like a birder can turn into a twitcher quite easily, depending on what the bird is. Because okay. Because there, there was a bird on, um, I think it was Skoma. No, no not Skoma. Um, I think it was... Oh, what's the, oh, no, it was, um, what's the island off the, oh, Farn, yeah, Farn Islands, that's it. Yeah. And um, there was like a little, yeah, was, yeah, that was it. It was called a desert warbler and it was one colour and it had a little yellow eye, which sort of sold it a little bit to me, but the rest of it was completely grey and hundreds of people went to see it. And that doesn't really interest me in the slightest. When we had the European bee eaters that turned up um, East League, I, I wonder if you've seen them actually. I did, I did um, go but, see them, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were great. So I feel like they are, like, they're, they're a bird that I would go see. But just to go all the way to, you know, the Farn Islands, just to see a little grey job, even that's not really my I, I have to admit with you, um, I, I'm, I'm definitely the same. If something bright and colourful and tarty turns up on my local patch or, or, or in Nottinghamshire, then I'll, I'll, I might go and see it. But uh, I, I'm not travelling 200 miles for a little brown jobby. You know, hats no. off to the people who are... Who were you know passionate for that and that and if that's gonna yeah. you know stir their tea then fair enough but it's not um it's not for me. It's it, I mean I, yeah I mean you know I mean if they, if they want to do it I'm I'm not stopping them there are no rules um it's just <laughs> it's just not my thing to be honest.